Jim in Guilford, Connecticut writes to me, Paul, so many DACs today use what's called a ladder DAC, and DCS has something called a ring DAC. And I believe there are a couple of other types of DACs. <laughs> Definitely. I own the wonderful PS Audio DirectStream MK2 DAC. What class of DAC would that be considered? Well, that, my friend, is called a PDM DAC, a Pulse Density Modulation DAC, DSD, compared to your ladder DAC or the ring DAC, which are PCM-based, Pulse Code Modulation. And basically, a ladder DAC has a number of precision resistors in a ladder. It looks like the steps of a ladder. There's 32 of them in most of those DACs. And each one is double the value of the one before it. So maybe we have 100 ohms, and the next one's 200 ohms, and then 400, and then 800. So when we put a voltage in and we turn those individual resistors in that ladder on and off, that combination of 32, you can mix them up however you want, creates a certain level. And that level goes up or down with the music. And if you run that at, let's say, uh, a very high sample rate PCM DAC, ladder DAC, would be running at, let's say, 192,000 times a second. Or a CD is running at 44,000 times a second. So every 44 thousandths of a second, that takes a number, puts it into that ladder, and creates a voltage. And that's what the ladder DAC does. That's the original kind of DAC. When we start, when we first built DACs in 1982 or three or whenever it was, when we came out with the world's first high-end audio DAC, the technology was a ladder DAC. And back then it was only 16 bits, but same technology. Modern DACs, at least ours, have really transcended that. And, and there's nothing wrong with ladder DACs. They've made some great sounding ladder DACs. But your direct stream is called a pulse density modulation DAC that is using DSD. And that runs at a very much higher sample rate. Okay, That rate that comes out of there is running at 11 million times a second compared when you're playing a CD. That compared to 44,000 times a second. Right? So very much faster. The new PMG signature DAC is also a PDM DAC. And that DAC is running at twice that speed, 22 million times a second. That's why it's called the PMG signature 512, because it's running at 512 times faster than a CD. That's where the 512 comes from. And direct stream is a 256. Half of 512. <laughs> so, one, the PDM DAC is very, very analog. It's about as good as you're ever going to get. A ladder DAC can start to approach that, and, and again, some of them sound very good. But that's basically the difference between the two. A, a ladder that is giving you chunks, separate little steps of voltage uh, at 44,000 times a second, or however you're running it versus a PDM DAC, which is running at very, very high speed, and it, the signal uh, the, it gets denser with more on bits or less dense with more off bits. And that denser and looser or lower density uh, is when the voltage goes down. Higher density, the voltage goes up. We simply run that through a low-pass filter, which is little more than a, a capacitor and a resistor and some fancy electronics, and you get audio out. You don't have to go through all this conversion process with the ladder and steps and all that. It's just direct out. It's as analog as you're ever going to get. All right? I hope that helps. Thanks.